Okay, what's up guys? So welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If, if you are a regular, I appreciate the support on the channel. But previous video, I showed you how to use a gradient texture to create like gradient glass material. It's really easy. And this video, I'm going to show you how to create some cool materials using a gradient texture, but not with glass. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go shift A. Let's create an object to put the material on. So go to icosphere if you want. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. And then right click, shade smooth. Then let's go to shading. Boom, zoom in. And then let's go, yeah. Into viewport shading, shading, and check these so we can see what you're doing. Make sure in cycles, just the basics. Okay, nice. Then hit new. Okay, so first thing I want to do is go Shift A, type in search, look for gradient texture, put that there, then go Shift A and look for a color ramp. Boom, boom, and then plug the color of the color ramp into the base color of the principal BSDF, and then plug the color into the factor of the color ramp. Okay, so then what you want to do is go Shift A and type in mix. Get a mix node, so mix and we'll plug this in there. Now what we can do is go to shift A, type in noise, and a noise texture, plug the color of the noise texture into B of the mix shader. Now what you do is if you bring this in, you can see what we're getting now. And then what you want to do, change it from linear, constant, and then bring this in. Okay, and then bring this black away, bring this white. You can see we're getting something pretty cool. Like that. And you can change the factor. Uh, bring it somewhere like that, and that looks pretty cool. And then you can change the scale. And it gives you something that like, looks pretty cool. So something like that. This looks cool. Let's go back here. And you can play with that. And then what's also cool is you can change the color. You can change the color of the black too. Click on it. Boom. Bring this in. Make this like a blue. And then you change it. That also looks cool. So it doesn't have to be black and white. And you can see if I bring it back to linear, it doesn't look as good. So you want to leave it at constant for this kind of material. And if you want more control, you can click on noise texture and go to control T to enable the node wrangler add-on. If you don't have it, go to edit, preferences, type in node, and just check this, make sure it's checked. And then what you want to do is plug the vector of the mapping to the vector it's a great texture, so you're using both. And then you can play around with the rotation. Play around with the X, Z. So this gives you a bit more control. Okay, now what you can do, you can click here, delete that, and then we can change it. So we can go Shift A, let's type in Musgrave. Let's add a Musgrave texture, plug the vector to the vector, the height to be, and now we've got like a blob. And then you can change the scale. Now what you can do is we can play with the color ramp. We can bring this blue to there, bring the yellow in. So we've got something pretty cool like that. And you can play with the factor. You want less, you want more. Pretty cool. And then if you want to delete this, you can add another one. So let's go with a shift A. Let's go to Voronoi, and then Voronoi, plug the vector into the vector, the color, boom, now we've got something cool. Then you can play with this, change this, change this. As you can see, it doesn't just have to be like one, you don't have to use the noise texture, you can use a couple of them. You can get something cool. Change this, make it smooth. Make it 4D. And you can always bring the metallic up. 
in the roughness down, that looks even better. And you can play with the scale. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you, taught you something, and yeah, I'll upload this material to the Patreon, the setup, and then you can always just change it. Like I said in the video, you can add a Musgrave texture, you can add a noise texture, and have fun with it. So feel free to check it out on the Patreon. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't and you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.